Welcome to Lloyd G. Porter Memorial Stadium as we are in New Iberia for this district opener between these two teams. The Sulphur Golden Tornadoes and the New Iberia Yellow Jackets. Hello, everyone, and we got a perfect night for football. Jeff Palermo along with Joel Davis. This should be a good one, Joel. New Iberia 2-1, and one. Sulphur 1-2, one and two, feeling a little more confident after a win last week over Washington Marion. Yeah, they played outstanding defense last week. They're getting a young running back into the mix. You know, that, that veer option offense makes it difficult on defenses, and New Iberia is playing very, very well right now, <laughs> considering they've had a very difficult schedule to this point in the season and they are battle tested to this point. Well, we had a chance earlier tonight to talk with Sulphur's first year head football coach Jeff Wainwright and he talked about that big win last week over Washington Marion. Well, I think it's important, you know, to, uh, whenever you get a win to build on it. And, uh, you know, tonight's a, another chance for our kids to, to build on our program and uh, build this new stuff that we're doing here. And, uh, you know, we've been working hard all week. And, you know, it was good for the kids to get a win, uh, you know, last week. So uh, we're just trying to get better each week. And, uh, you know, tonight's got a tough opponent, Nish. And, uh, you know, they have a lot of great players. And, uh, you know, it'll be a big challenge for our kids tonight. But they're ready and we're going to play hard. Well, Joe, one guy that Coach Wayne Wright's going to lean on tonight is Toby Duhon, his sophomore yeah. running back. Yeah, young guy, very physical running back, about 190 pounds, not very big. Just the inexperience factor. You just don't want that to come into play tonight. He's a guy that's going to carry the ball 20-plus times a game. He's their go-to guy. He has to play well for this offense to be successful. And then for the new Iberia Yellow Jackets, they're 2-1 and one on the season. Coach Rick Hudson, he's been here for several years, and they just beat their arch rival last week, West and he talked about that with me earlier tonight. Well, we've addressed it because in the past uh, that was always a, a, a big hangover for both teams, whether you won or you lost. And, uh, you know, if you win last week and lose this week or reverse it, it really doesn't matter in the power ratings. Every game's important and, and uh, you only play 10 a year, so there's no need in letting one week affect the other. And, of course, for New Iberia, they have an outstanding running back in Daniel Lewis, who's actually committed to Hawaii. Right. Hey, he's an outstanding player. This is a guy that's an all-district cornerback in his sophomore and junior year. And then this year, they needed a back. They lost their leading rusher from last year. He's such an outstanding talent. This year, they plug him in, and what do you know, averaging over 100 yards a game against very, very good football teams. He's a difference maker. You need defensively, you need to keep your eye on this guy, or he can break it the distance every single time. Now, we've been talking about offensive players here, Joel, but these two teams have excellent defenses, and for New Iberia, it's always a challenge when you have to go up against a triple option offense that's all for runs. Yeah, it's just one of those things that's tough to prepare for throughout the week, and, and Jeff Wainwright does a great job uh, implementing that offense. They work on it diligently. Uh, they're building a program. You know, they don't have it where they want it to be just yet, but you give Wainwright three or four years, this Sulphur team and that offense is going to be very dangerous. Well, one thing when you look at these defenses, first of all, for New Iberia last week, they only held, they held Westgate to seven points. And then for Sulphur, they, had, they pitched a shutout last week against Washington Marion. Granted, the weather conditions were brutal for especially games in southwest Louisiana, but they held a St. Thomas Moore team to just 10 points. What's interesting in this game, Sulphur's got a sophomore quarterback to go along with that sophomore tailback that they'll have playing tonight. Well, they're very young. They're going to win games this this year with their defense. That's the way they're going to have to do it. Less than 250 yards per game is what they're giving up. They're giving up less than 100 yards per game on the ground. And to win a bit, to win big games like it is tonight on the road, you have to play good defense. And of course, the offense has to carry their weight. All right, we're going to throw it back to the studio before these Nats eat us alive. But we'll be back here at 7 o'clock for the kickoff at Lloyd G. Porter Memorial Stadium. Back to the studio.